This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. A really exciting night ahead of us here at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Real Madrid facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top-quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. Real chance. Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in the semi-final. A long way from being decided, but it could be telling. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. On they go again. A wake-up call for the City players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Walker. De Bruyne now. Now, options are plenty. Really getting stuck in. Jude Bellingham. Valverde. Well, the supporters think it's on. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Corner given to Real Madrid. And fired over by Kroos. And making sure it wasn't problematic. Federico Valverde. And Bellingham. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Holland in with a chance. And he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. Federico Valverde. Lucas Vasquez. Rodrigo. Can he put it away? Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Doku. Really good challenge. And what can they do to stop him running at them? But timely defending when it mattered. Rodrigo. Could be. And it's in. Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Vardiol. The ball with Rodri. It's a promising City move. Brilliantly blocked. Was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Could pull one back here. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Valverde. Vinicius Junior. Course. Real chance. In it goes. He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, 
let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So on they go again. And every indication that Real are going to stroll to victory here. Mendy. Kevin De Bruyne on the move. Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. Breaking at pace. But nothing comes of it. De Bruyne and pressing from the front and he's through here and tried to drive at home but couldn't do so well he decided to go for power but he's got to hit the target there Rodri Ederson Kevin De Bruyne Real Madrid doing well to regain possession here he has teammates around him can he finish? he's blocked it corner kick delivery from Toni Kroos And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Rodri. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. And the ball rolling again after what was a dazzling first 45 from Real. Can they repeat that in the second half? He succeeds in clearing it. And really closing him down here. Gvardiol. On to Holland. And showing fine vision. Well, he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there. Rudiger. Now with Fernandez. Rodrigo. Flag raised for offside. Can he find the right pass? Rodri. On to Holland. A good and fair challenge. Informamos de que el club organizará una recogida de alimentos para los más desfavorecidos en nuestro próximo. And Cross failed to hold it. Aurelien Chouameni and Bellingham and quick thinking defensively
a bit wasteful from City it's looking promising and he's kept it out fully stretched somehow reaching it and Manchester City will go to their bench Cross with the corner and a relatively high degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper Alvarez and City being afforded too much room well it came to nothing in the end Gvardiol plenty of support here Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Real chance. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. A lopsided contest. 4-0. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Oh, breezing past him. Still possibilities. And the move breaks down. Now, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Well, it was a superb counter-attack. Not such high marks for the finish. Well, the build-up to the shot was great. Good defending, quick transition and excellent movement. It just needed a much better finish. Alvarez. De Bruyne now. Oh, great attacking play. Will it be? And it's come off the keeper. And a goal it is! But in all honesty, the keeper should have done much, much better. Well, here it is again. And I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper. You have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone. And at this level, you're always going to be punished. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Ten minutes to go. Federico Valverde. Carvajal succeeded in blocking it. Vardiol. Good technique displayed. It might be. And still danger here. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, who's the first person they want to celebrate with? It's Pep Guardiola. What a lovely moment that is. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Carvajal. Ruben Dias. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Well, a really good run. Being egged on by the crowd. A promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. And so there goes the full time whistle. 
and Real Madrid will carry a lead into the decisive second leg. Yeah, they controlled so much of the game. They got good service into the front players, they used the wide area as well, and their midfield players made some dynamic forward runs. They're certainly giving themselves a great chance of reaching the final now. And he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.